Super happy to be joined here in Mississauga in a Halifax Wanderers team hotel by reigning CPL Player of the Year, Joao Morelli. Joao, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good. You guys have been in preseason for a little bit now. You've got this trip to Ontario. You've had some friendlies in. You've got another one coming up, I think, against, against Forge. Uh, let's just start with what this preseason has been like for you guys. There's some new faces in the team, but a lot of guys returning. So what's kind of the attitude around the group at the moment? Um, it's been good so far. Uh, I think everyone's looking really good. The new faces too. Um, we have a couple of very good uh, additions and we still like obviously getting them uh, accustomed to the team but it's been pretty good so far and and the returning players are, are happy to to be here again myself especially like i wanted to come back and uh, we agreed uh, with the club that, that it would be possible so so far, so good. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get in a little bit more in a little bit about why you wanted to come back, but just let's look back quickly on just last season. Uh, a very good one for you personally, not necessarily the one that the club wanted, I think, after you know, going to the final in PEI and then just missing out on the playoffs last year. What was that season like kind of as a group for you guys? And maybe what do you think you, you guys maybe learned from that as a team? Um, I mean, it was really close. I think all we needed was to win the last game. But, uh, I mean, we learned a lot. Um, we had we had difficulties during the season, and I think this is this is going to be the main thing for us this season. Is not conceding goals like in the last ten minutes of the games, which we did like a lot of times. We were like leading the game, and then just tie-in at the end made us like lose a lot of points and it's just basic stuff which we've been like working on this too I mean obviously for me I was happy with my my performances and I got the awards and everything but as I said before I, I would like change that for the team to win the league so the main thing this year is to adjust the things that, that we need to and, and hopefully get to the top four and and from there we'll see what happens. Absolutely. Yeah, as as you mentioned, you know, some of the Wanderers games were certainly a lot of fun for us as neutrals to watch <laughs> because of just the late drama. There's that, you know, that crazy game with York yeah. ended three three, but <laughs> I think that was definitely definitely kind of something that Stephen Hart would have tried to drill into you guys. Um, but for yourself, you know, as you already mentioned, great season for you. I think it was 15 goals in all competitions, yeah. uh, 14 in the CPL. When you arrived in the league, I don't think that we thought of you as a pure goal scorer. Um, was it just because you were, you were the only guy that could score last year? Like what, what maybe prompted you to just go on this tear of, of putting balls in the net? Um, I think this is one of my my qualities in the game because um, even playing as a 10, I, I arrive uh, in the box a lot of times and this is a thing that I learned in Europe. <clears throat> and my seasons before uh, in Estonia and even even in England, I didn't have like a, a, a professional season, but like I had the, the uh, quality to, to ar arrive in the box and, and to to finish the, with the, with goals, so yeah, no one expects a, like a, a number number ten to score mm -hmm. more than the strikers and and all that. But I think this is one of the things that I that I can help a lot with the team. And obviously, I have the other side as a midfielder to distribute the game and 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 find key passes too. So whatever it is, I'm just always trying to to get the team to to score a goal. You're actually wearing number 10 this year, which yes. feels right. I think I remember there was one game at the Island Games in PEI where it was the first time you played as a 10 instead of, you know, on, on the wing or up front. And I remember you talking about it after that game. Yeah. Is that then kind of where you want to be this season? Do you want to be more of that kind of creative presence, maybe arrive in the box later? This, yeah, this is what I, what, where I feel most comfortable mm -hmm. playing because I think it's just not more natural for me. 
but it, I mean, all I want is to be playing. So if if coach Steven uh, wants me to to be a, a nine or a winger, well, even an eight, I practice sometimes as a number eight too. Wherever it is, I, I'm, it is, I'm just gonna try to to be my best and to put out there my best qualities too. And even now, like our assistant coach Alejandro, he he already said to me like it doesn't matter where you play, you're gonna be yourself in a different position. So all you have to do is the same thing that you've been doing. So don't worry about where you're playing and just try to to do the same stuff always. It doesn't like if if I'm playing as a striker, it doesn't mean I can't create yeah. uh, other uh, uh, goals like to other players score. So like it's all the same. It's just different positions, obviously. I have my, my preferred one, but it's all good. Yeah, and you know, a lot of the best strikers in the world are the ones that can hold up play or, or create for their teammates. But speaking of where you're comfortable playing, Halifax. Um, this is going to be your third year with the club. I mean, your second actually being able to play in Halifax. But you've spent a lot of time all over the world in your career, right? You played at home in Brazil and in England and Estonia. Yeah. Just tell me a bit about what it's been like coming to Halifax and why you know why you're happy here why you like staying here um this is a thing that I learned throughout the years I'm, I'm getting old now 26 <laughs> so um when I was 18 all I wanted was was to play in Europe and I went to a big club uh, <clears throat> but my expectations were too high not uh related to the the team the 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 club or not, nothing related to football it was i thought my life would be perfect and it's not like that uh obviously everywhere you go you have problems difficult um like difficult like hard hard times like with people mm -hmm. and if you don't adapt yourself to like what they live then it's hard and I was like a stubborn kid when I was 18 and I was just it was hard to make friends and everything so maybe it would be different if I go to Europe today because I'm much more mature but um, here I found like friend friendly people like friends for from life my honestly like the, my teammates I can I can literally like call them brothers so this is a this is something that makes me feel like happy because off the pitch is if if you're good off the pitch then on the pitch like it's more than 50 percent that you're gonna be mm -hmm. at your best so right now I, I said that i wanted to come back because of my mental health i had problems in england like oh you know it was really hard for me and then being here and being happy i know i can perform good and and take to like to the next level maybe yeah that's super important is it just you know enjoying your football i think is is something that certainly a lot of coaches talk about as being important because you know technically it's your job but it is at the end of the day it's a game yeah. and what's the point if you're not enjoying it right exactly yeah um but it feels like you've really kind of like this group of, of kind of this core, core group in Halifax. I feel like you guys are becoming closer and closer. And I know that a lot of that stems back to even kind of during COVID lockdowns and things like that, you guys seem to get really close and that seemed to help you guys certainly at the Island Games. Uh, just tell me a bit about kind of the, the vibe around that group and how important that is to you guys off the pitch as well as on it. Yeah, I think um, if, if I invite anyone from the team to go out and have a beer. I can go with any of them. So this is a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously I have my my closest ones, but everyone is my friend. And I think it's just a bunch of very, very nice guys. It's really hard to find the, like a situation like that in a, in a club. But um, I don't know if we're lucky or the staff just, I think obviously the, the staff tries to, to, to get these like good players but like with good mm -hmm. attitude too so just like the vibe is always good man obviously we have our scraps in training like we, sometimes we swear at each other and everything but off the pitch everyone is like very united so 
we always have our banter off the pitch. We go out together, we do stuff together. So this is a thing that helps a lot on the pitch. And the first year was really hard for us. Uh, <clears throat> the team was completely new. Mm -hmm. And I think being united was what we took us to the final because we didn't have much time to, to practice, to, to maybe has a, like a, an identity like as a team to, you know. And then obviously last year we had our chances, but we still like, still played really good games. And, and obviously like for myself, especially I was, I was at my best. So again, like being happy off the field is just, what makes you good on the field for me and having all these like these friends as teammates it's, a, it's a, an amazing thing yeah that's that's incredibly important um when you first signed for halifax i think it was early 2020 okay. something like that um what were you kind of expecting obviously nobody was expecting a pandemic to come after that but no. now that you know you've had some time to experience halifax and playing in canada what were you expecting before you got here and how, you know, has it met, exceeded, changed your expectation from what you thought you were getting into? Before I come, I really didn't have like a big idea of like the league, the place, the, the, mm -hmm. like the city. So like, cause that, um, before that I've never been to Canada. And so like, I was just kind of, well, let's see what it has to offer me, but, um, as soon as I got here, everyone started talking about the Wanderers ground and this and that, the fans, and we didn't have the chance to play yeah. at the Wanderers grounds that year. But like last year, when I, our first game, it wasn't even full capacity still because of COVID, but I think it was like 70%, like it was yeah. close to 4,000 people and it was raining so much and they were still there and, and cheering us up and I was like yeah like these guys are right like they're, they're actually like amazing and uh, to be honest like the league man like I don't people don't know the league uh, properly and there's a lot of good players good potential you, like young Canadian players like growing a lot you can see the improvement from the first year to to last year already so like my expectations weren't too high and for sure like all the stuff that happened here matched my my expectations and even uh, like it was even more what I was expecting. Well, that's certainly good to hear. Yeah. Um, maybe off the pitch more specifically, when you go home like to Brazil, I know that you were home in Brazil recently over the winter, what do you tell people about what it's like to be in Halifax and to live in Canada? I just tell good stuff, man. I, I love Halifax. My friends always ask me, like even people that are not too close to me, they see me, they're like, oh, how is it there? And I, I'm, I always tell them like, it's, it's amazing. Canada is like a really nice country. People are nice. Uh, everyone treats you well. I'm having like the best time of my life. So all, all good stuff, man. I don't think there's like a, a bad thing that I, I, I can say to people in Brazil. And obviously they all my friends are, are willing to come here. It depends on the, the restrictions, obviously. Mm -hmm. But let's see. Uh, but it's good, man. Like, I love it here. I said it, I said it many times. And obviously there, there is bad things that happens during the year, the season, the, like, you know, things that you don't agree, but it happens everywhere you go. And yeah. it's not going to be 100% perfect. I think if you're inviting people, you'll probably invite them in the summer. So it's, sure. it's a little chillier that still than, than it is in Brazil. But Brazilians are, they're, Brazilian people are stubborn, man. I tell them, <laughs> like, because they like going to cold places because really? it's always hot in right. Brazil. But I tell them, like, it's not 15 degrees because 15 degrees for us is cold. It's like minus 15. You can't go there in the winter, <laughs> man. You're not going to enjoy it that much. There is not much like many things to do. You're walking on like in, on the snow. You're sleeping. You're falling. It's not fun. But yeah. they want to come in the winter. But I'll try to tell them to come in the summer because it's nice. Yeah, I, I think so too. I mean, you get a lot of snow out in Halifax. It's maybe not quite as cold as some of the other CPL yeah. cities. 
you know, Winnipeg, Edmonton, they get, they get pretty chilly. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's not too bad. And Halifax is a, a fun city, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I, when it's, I got there last month and didn't want to leave my, my room. <laughs> it's yeah. too cold and, for End me. of February is, is <laughs> yeah. a, little, a little cold for you. But uh, so then let, let's just do on the pitch as well. Obviously, the game is very different everywhere in the world. You've seen it in so many different places. I know it's obviously different in Brazil to what it is in England and probably different in Estonia too. I don't know anything about Estonian football. <clears throat> um, how is it different in Canada and what maybe have your experiences in these other places kind of brought to, you know, to what you can bring to Halifax? Like obviously you've got experience that maybe you can use to help some of the other Canadian players, right? Yeah. Yeah, I always try to, to bring something from, from what I learned during my, my career to the young guys here. And yeah, there is, I mean, from Brazil, I played, I didn't play much, especially, I only played three, four months as a, a professional in Brazil. Mm -hmm. But it's not as intense as it is in England, not even close. Um, Estonia is kind of, maybe similar to here it is intense here the games are really intense physical yeah yeah and yeah that i mean it's just harder to play in england because there's not many fouls or like tackles and everything so the the game just flows more right but i think it's like similar style to to what i had in england with a little bit less intense that, than than there but Canada is, is really intense to play here too. You don't stop running. I miss Brazil sometimes, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I think the modern football is turning all in the, like in, in one style. I think even Brazil now is, is changing a little bit where everyone has to defend, everyone has to attack. Uh, there's no time to, to rest during the game. You have to always be in position. Uh, a lot of rules and I think it's gonna in a few years gonna be all the same like obviously yeah everyone every every place has different things but quite the same yeah yeah and I think in Canada specifically the game here is probably super different to what it was five or ten years ago as well so that's for sure the game's always always changing and it's important to keep up um, maybe just before we wrap up let's just look one more time at this coming season you guys get started in like a week and a half yeah. now, maybe two weeks. Yeah. But uh, what are you most looking forward to about just getting back out on the pitch and you know having another season to go for it and to go for that top four spot? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited again to, to play here. Uh, hopefully this year we can, can get things right and make less mistakes. And for sure, if we, if we make less mistakes, we're going to be on the top four. And I mean, the pressure, there's a lot of pressure on me to do again what I did, which is really hard, but I, I'm training my, the hardest I can. I'm taking care of myself like as much as I can to, to do it again. And hopefully this time with more help from my, from my teammates. And yeah, man, I, I'm excited. We have a lot to prove. Uh, it's funny we are always the under, the underdogs for for the league, but it's okay. But we're gonna we're gonna prove a lot of people wrong for sure this year. I think that's what that's certainly what you're gonna come in looking for. I think you said already that you would prefer to win a trophy with your team than an individual award. Yeah, for sure. Um, but you're coming into the season, you do have that player of the year tag. Do you maybe embrace that idea of being maybe the player that other guys and other teams are like? That's the guy we need to focus on. Yeah, I mean, for, that will happen. Mm -hmm. That will happen for sure. Uh, but again, my my main thing is just like, I was I was MVP last year. This year, as everyone starts from starts from zero, so I'm not anymore. Uh, obviously, the eyes are gonna be on me, especially on the pitch. They're gonna study me more and everything. But it, the game is played, so you you just have to adapt to to what they bring to you. So. Let's see what happens. Absolutely. Well, Halifax Wanderers getting underway pretty soon. 
I think it's York, York in that yes. first game of the season, yeah. not too far from here, actually. Yeah. Uh, good luck, Joao. Thanks so much again for doing Thank this. Thank you I really very appreciate much. it. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. it.